Yes, my birthday month is finally here. And I'm sure by now some people are wondering why it's such a big deal to me. I mean, some people go all out for their birthday. I typically don't, though. But the, the reason why I am trying to hype it up some for myself this year is just because most years recently, um, really more than recently, it's, it's been a good while, that I really just didn't worry about my birthday much. And the reason why is because it's just such a hectic time of year at work. Usually I end up working on my actual birthday and, and if not, I'm tired out from work. So it's really just where my birthday falls. You know, I'm proud to be a Leo, but at the same time, it, it's rough where my birthday falls because it's just not a great time to celebrate. So I, if I am going to celebrate, I do have to kind of celebrate before it or after it because like I said, the actual day normally it just doesn't work out. I just don't have the energy to even try to celebrate when I do get a little free time that day but uh yeah i want to go ahead and tell you all about the day that i had july 31st um i decided to go out and look around again to see if i could find um some more of the little dc bombshells and had no luck with that i went to the same store where i found this one can still wasn't able to find any more but i mean that's all good though um and I, i've heard a lot of people say that it seems to be a lot of Wonder Womans out there, um, you know, people, I guess, finding Wonder Woman and then getting doubles and just leaving them behind or whatever. So, yeah, apparently Wonder Woman's easy to come by. But, of course, I want to try to get maybe the majority of the set. I don't know if I need every single one, but, I mean, really, there's only 12 all together. So, I mean, if I could get them all, I probably would go for that. Um, I was a little impatient. I did find another Disney Infinity figure I didn't um I mean I just went ahead and opened it up instead of waiting because it looks so cool and it is is Ant-Man Disney Infinity figure which th this is really well designed it looks even better than I initially thought and I like how you see it has the reflective lenses there too so very cool so I'm really liking these Disney Infinity figures but I mean this is the only thing new that I picked up today which is all good because it wasn't just going about going around looking from store to store it was also about meeting up with my best friend and uh she surprised me with a birthday gift that was really unexpected uh just to let you know and I am about to show you all the gift of course um just to let you all know of course she knows uh that I am a huge Harley Quinn fan you see already I got um, a one Harley Quinn statue, the black and white statue there from a trade with Cat D. Then I got the bombshell figure really as an early birthday gift from Karen of Ethan Finds Out. So, yeah, people that know me, they know I'm a huge Harley Quinn fan. Of course, my best friend is going to know that. And recently, she's got into crafting. So she put together something that is pretty epic for me. And she did well at hiding the fact that she was putting this together. So she created... A wreath here that features Harley Quinn. So starting from the, st the top here, of course, she found this patch. That really wonderful looking patch of Harley Quinn. And I like this because this shows off her more sinister side with that expression there. And over here, this is a little bit more playful Harley Quinn. And she does have that mallet over her shoulder. And again, this is a patch. Very nice. I'm going to come across over here. She has the bat symbol, that very classic bat symbol, but with Harley Quinn's design on it with the checkered pattern there going on the diamonds. And then she actually found this little Harley Quinn figure to put on here as well with the PAL guns going on. And what's really crazy is in Target, I actually saw the figures like this for the first time today. They didn't have Harley Quinn, but they did have um, Batman, Superman, and I think there was one more character. I'm really not sure if it was Wonder Woman or somebody else. But it's so funny because if I had actually seen the Harley Quinn one, I probably would have picked it up. But yeah, um, yeah. after uh, we went through a couple of stores, grabbed a quick bite, and then um, yeah, she surprised me with this reef. I'm trying my best to let you see as much of it at one time as possible. So that is a pretty epic gift. I definitely got to find a place to display this. 
probably will be in my um, corner where I keep a lot of my Harley Quinn Funko Pops. Except for the Suicide Squad ones. I keep all the Suicide Squad stuff together. Yeah, so this is a pretty epic gift. Now, I do want to talk here real quick about some things that just came to my mind today. And, uh, you know, if you just wanted to check out this awesome present, yeah, that that's all good. But, uh, yeah, I am going to share some thoughts that I had today here as well. Yeah, that, that is really an epic gift, though, you know. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, something that came to my mind today is uh, just the traits of a Leo. is something I've thought about before, about how a lot of those traits do fit me. And if you noticed in the intro, um, I included some words like creative. I definitely think I'm creative. I definitely think I'm passionate. Um, you know, I try to be generous. And, yeah, I think I'm naturally a warm-hearted person. Can be kind of sensitive <laughs> at times. But uh, I also left in there the word stubborn. And I think it's because you have to learn to be honest about your faults and understand why you are certain ways. So I actually accept the idea of being a stubborn person. You know, that's one of the negative traits that you, you'll see it listed as negative with Leos that um they can be stubborn. Some things also say that Leos tend to be um very I'm trying to think of a way of saying, it. I think arrogant, like self-centered. That's definitely not me. I think, um, of course, Zodiac stuff is very, you know, and, eh, you know, very superstitious type stuff. So, uh, yeah, I don't buy into, I'm not arrogant. I don't always have to be the leader. I can actually, you know, follow pretty well, follow directions pretty well. And, and a lot of times I actually prefer to be a follower, but to try to really do a great job as a follower and, you know, play my role. But, uh, yeah, with the um the some of the negative things that people say about Leo that they speculate about Leo's um being stubborn, I think actually fits me and I don't mind that it fits me and the reason why is because with me being such a kind person there have been a lot of times in my life where I just kind of let people lead the way all the time and maybe even push me around and take advantage of me and it's just something that I've learned to refuse to do. I'm not going to be pushed around. You know, I, I got to have my independence. And I actually have been independent, living on my own the majority of my life now, you know, especially as an adult. So, uh, you know, being very independent minded. So, yeah, that's just the way I am. I'm stubborn because I'm, I'm not going to be bossed around. And basically, I'll say it this way. If, if you're not signing my checks, if you have nothing to do with my job, you're not in a leadership role, then I basically feel that you have no right to boss me around. So yeah, I'm definitely stubborn in that way. And then, like I've said, this reef here was made by my best friend, who is a woman. And I do believe that men and women can be friends and just friends, you know, and she's a great friend. And there have been times when women just didn't like the idea of me having a female best friend. And I talked to my younger sister about this because um, basically uh, it's a long story. I kind of wanted her to be aware of a situation just in case things escalate. I can't even get into all that. But uh, but yeah, I, I talked, to, talked to her about this and she really agrees with me that, you know, a good friend is very valuable. You can't just overlook a good friend regardless of what the situation is because good friends are so hard to come by so um yeah there have been times in the past when women that i dealt with didn't like the idea of me having a female friend but like i said you know a good friend is very hard to come by and um you know i, I see her being my best friend for life and that's just the way it is and then going back to me being a stubborn person I think a big part of the reason why I am single and I've been single for a good while is because, again, I'm not going to be bossed around. And there, unfortunately, are a lot of women that want to just be domineering and boss around and say, yeah, you can't hang out with this person. You can't deal with that, you know, be around that person, whatever it may be. And nah, that's not me. I'm not going to be pushed around. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a Leo to the fullest. If that makes me kind of stubborn, pig-headed at times, whatever, I really don't care. You know, I got to be true to who I am and I got to be loyal to my friends. And I think that's what it comes down to. I'm going to be, you know, loyal to my friends as long as they're loyal to me. As long as they treat me right, then we're cool. And again, like I said, 
you know, a good friend is just so valuable. And, you know, my advice to anybody, you got to look at it, especially if you're younger, you got to you got to realize that relationships, they, they can come and go. And when they go, it just puts you in a tough position. If you've been ugly towards your friend or you neglected your friends for a relationship, you got to really learn how to balance things out. So, uh, yeah, good friends are very valuable. And I definitely appreciate my friend for making this awesome gift here. You know, it's so cool that she took this talent that she's she's picked up. And I do consider it a talent, a talent for uh, crafting. It's really cool that she put her talent to use there to create this. And like she said, and I definitely see it, a lot of love went into this. And yeah, that's just something that a great friend does. So uh, I hope you all enjoy this video. I hope you, you know, understood the thoughts that I shared with you all and why I said the things that I did. But yeah, I got to find like a hook or something so I can go ahead and hang this up. And um, you may see this in an another video in the future when I do like another tour of all of my collectibles. That'll probably be after a while. Though I feel like the last one I did was still kind of recent. So uh, I'll give it a while before I do kind of a tour of all of my collectibles and everything. But yeah, it's, like, it's nice. I got the wreath here and then you can see the Harleys chilling back there. Yeah, very nice. So I, I definitely feel blessed to... uh have some good friends and you know these these nice gifts and it's not all about gifts but it's just you know it's still nice especially since like I said I normally don't get to celebrate my birthday but yeah I want to try to have a little fun this year before my birthday comes along because it will be a work day but yeah that's enough of me rambling I hope you all enjoyed the video let me know what you think about this gift here I think it's pretty awesome that's definitely my opinion on it but yeah, you all just uh, let me know what you think about it and you all take care until next time.